This is the Goddess Sessions. My name is Devatara. Welcome back, my wonderful soul friends. And so the wheel of the year turns once more as we move from darkness towards more light. It is now at the cross quarter, the festival of Imok, or in Ireland we call it Imbolag, Bolag meaning belly, for the seeds of the plants are in the belly of Mother Earth and we're waiting for them to emerge. It also refers to being in the belly of the you and the hope that the milk will be coming soon. Imbolag is a time for celebration after a harsh winter and for the bounty of the summer to come. It is also associated with the goddess Brigid. Brigid is the patron of all the womanly arts, weaving, brewing, child rearing, guardians of children. of home, hearth and protection. She is the goddess of fire and water and healing. She's also patron to travelers and fugitives and offers protection to those who travel. She's the patron of poetry and the Irish word for a poet is Philly. And Philly comes from the Irish word feck to see. And it's about to see, to gain inspiration, otherworldly inspiration. And so she brings creativity with poetry, which in the Druids, it was the bardic part of the Druidry, and also prophecy, seership, divination blacksmithing because of the creativity. She's the daughter of the Morrigan and the sun god, the Dogba, which is part of the Donon race, now called the fairy race, the divine race. So thank you for joining me here today to celebrate this Celtic festival and the beginnings and stirrings of spring. So if you'd like to gather any props that are in your practice, please do so now. If you'd like to light some incense, aromatherapy, light a candle to honor the fire goddess, have a bowl of water with the aromatherapy to honor the water aspect. Cleanse the space by burning sage or palo santo just to create sacred space for yourself. And if you'd like to put on a gentle playlist, please do so now and then meet me back here on the mat. Welcome back. So as we're moving from winter, which is a yin energy, just towards the summer, which is a yang energy, we're going to start a practice nice and slow. Come to any comfortable seated position and just root yourself into the earth. 
Allow the spine to be straight. As you become aware of your breath, your life force, using your breath to connect you in, ground you into your inner being. Imagine the scents of the earth at this time of year. As you move your awareness down into the earth, your own roots moving from your root chakra down into your silver soul earth star chakra. And those roots moving down into the earth. Through the earth, the stones, the crystals, the creatures of the earth. It's aliveness underneath you. Allow your roots to connect with all the life force in the earth, allowing this communication between you and all earth beings. bringing you wisdom, earth wisdom. And now moving those roots further down into the earth, right down into the depths of the belly of Mother Earth. Feeling her love for you, earth child. And feeling your love for her. As you breathe in, feel that love moving through your roots, up into your root chakra, sacral chakra, navel chakra, solar plexus, and up into your heart as you exhale, sending love down to Mother Earth. Mother Earth. And following this flow of breath, exhaling love down to Mother Earth, inhaling, receiving love, into your heart center. Now become aware of the sky. The stars, the cosmos, the moon. Breathing down energy from the sun, the moon, the stars, the sky, energy. Moving down into your crown chakra, down into your heart. connecting with universal wisdom.
breathing down, receiving love and wisdom. On the exhale, breathing up, thanks for the guidance and support. And the energy of the sky touches the energy of the earth in your heart. Imagine trees around you, their roots deep in the earth, grounded, strong, their torso, its strength, offering protection. Its branches, flexible and agile, mirroring to us if we're strong and rooted in ourselves. We with flow, grace, agility, and flexibility. We can withstand any storm. May this grove around your mat today create sacred space and protection for you. As we use yoga, which comes from the word yog, which is to combine the soul and the body. Connecting our spiritual practice with our physical movement. Grounding us into ourselves and the earth and aligning us with the natural cycles of nature. few more deep breaths. <sighs> One last deep breath. Exhale, sighing out. Allow the forehead, the chin to drop towards your chest. Bringing the feet out in front of you into a diamond, soles pressing against each other into a diamond shape. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, rooting the buttocks into the earth, exhale, forward fold. Allow the body to soften more and more in each exhale. as though you were a seed within the belly of Mother Earth. Slowly awakening. as we gain more light day by day.
on an inhale, raise the head, still looking at the feet, sliding the hands back along the legs, and then come to a cross leg pose. Inhale, gathering up this beautiful energy of Imbolc, palms together at the top. On an exhale, bring the hands down through heart center, and then bring the right hands to the opposite knee. Inhale, on an exhale, twist to the left hand side, looking over your shoulder. Inhale, bring the palms back to touch at center, body at center. Raise the palms up to the knee, grandmother knee. Exhale to the opposite side. Inhale, twisting to center, palms at height center, and then bring, sweep the arms out to the side, place the left hand down towards the earth, and draw a rainbow with that right, right hand up and over, grounding the hips into the earth, bending the left elbow to create a nice side body stretch. Lengthening through that side body. Inhale to center and then swap sides on an exhale. Inhale to center, release the arms. We're going to come to a lying down position. Keeping the knees bent and waking up the lower spine, the back. Pressing, grinding the feet into the earth. On an inhale, tuck the tailbone, slowly raising the hips not fully up, just to wherever is comfortable to your body, like spring gently awakening. Exhale slowly from the upper vertebra down, bringing it back to the earth. On an inhale, raise. Exhale, come down. Noticing your connection of your back and body with the earth. Moving with the flow of your own breath now. Bring the arms out to the side, palms facing towards the earth. Imagine your palms connecting with the earth. Allow the knees to fall to the left hand side. Look towards the right.
allowing the body to relax. Inhale to center, exhale to the opposite side. Inhale back to center. Bring your knees towards the chest so that your palms are on the knees. And then just draw circles with the knees. Toes can touch if you wish with the knees out or keep the knees in. What feels good for your body at this very moment? Now, pulling the knees away gently to straighten the arms, just move from left to right, giving a nice massage to the back. Hug the knees in, inhale. On an exhale, raise the forehead over the chest and hug your legs. Neck relaxed. Thanking yourself for getting through the winter period of diminished light and the harsh winter. Remembering this still is a time when we need nourishment as the stirrings of spring are only just starting. Bring the hands to hold on to the shins, draw the legs away from the body to create straight arms, keeping the head over the chest, slowly rock forward and back until your body naturally comes into a seated position. And then we're going to move on to the belly. Allow the forehead to be on the earth. Palms underneath the shoulders. On an inhale, slide the arms back, hold, interlock the fingers, lengthening through the arms, the shoulders come away from the ears, grounding the legs and torso into the earth. Inhale, raise the head up. Breathing deep as we hold this position, if you need to come down, Listen to your body. Inhale back down. Curl the fingers in so you have two fists and then place them under the hips. There's a space there in the pelvis. Forehead, third eye connecting with the earth. Legs in towards each other, lengthen tail to crown, tail to toes, inhale, lengthening and lifting the legs up, breathing deep, holding only as long as is comfortable for you.
down whenever you need. And then on an exhale, bring the legs down, release the arms, lengthen through the fingers and moving the practice into full locust. On an inhale, grinding the belly, the hips into the earth, raise up the legs, raise the shoulders, bringing the fingertips towards the toes. giving yourselves more strength to get through this period. Exhale, come down. Then palms underneath shoulders, come up into tabletop. And just moving to release the spine to a few cat cows, knees underneath the hips. On an inhale, drop the belly, tailbone crown, come towards the sky. Exhale, tuck the hips, drop the head, press your shoulders away from the earth, spine to the sky. On an inhale, looking up to the sky, moving with your own breath now. and move your body in any way which feels comfortable to you. If it feels tense in any area, can you create a movement using your intuition? What movement will release it? As Bridget is the goddess of poetry, and otherworldly wisdom. Connecting in with your creativity, your intuition. Curl the toes. Lift the knees, push back into downward dog. Heels come towards the earth, grounding the feet into the earth. As we move from yin into yang, pedal out, walk the dog, pedal out the feet. Waking up the legs. Moving your body in any way which feels comfortable. We can move into wave, bringing, coming into plank, bending the knees, pushing back. Again, this is your practice. Listen to your body. What does it want to do? You don't need to follow me. Bring the toes to touch, bringing the heels towards, but not forcing them towards the earth. Inhale, raise the right leg up. Exhale, knees to nose towards. <laughs> Inhale, straighten it up. On an exhale, you're going to bend that lifted leg and just allow a stretch, allow the leg to fall over to the opposite side. Breathe deep. Inhale, bringing it back to center. Exhale, down. Pedal out the feet. Walk the dog. Inhale, toes to touch, lifting the left leg up. Three. 
three-legged dog, grounding two hands and foot into the earth. Bend the raised leg, allow it to fall to the opposite side. Inhale back to center. Bring the knee towards the nose. And then bring it between the hands. And raise up. And I'm coming to the wrong side of my mat, so <laughs> I'm going to change slightly. Okay, so coming to a wide legged position, we're going to move between star and goddess pose. So feet wide, if you want to bring the feet slightly out at an angle, whatever is comfortable for your body. What we do want is that the knees stay out, that they don't come forward when we, when we squat. Okay, so if you need to bring the legs in at any time, please do so. We're gonna start, inhale, raise the arms out and up into a star position. Exhale, bending down, goddess pose, bend the elbows, bring the shoulder blades towards the spine. Breathe deep, just gonna hold this. Feel the feet rooted in the earth, the strength of your legs, the strength of your back between the shoulder blades. Inhale, star, lengthen, creating flexibility, adaptability. Exhale, goddess pose. Inhale, star, creating fire energy now. Exhale, goddess. Whoop. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Star. Goddess. Bring the palms together. And then move the body, allow it to flow, connecting with the water element. Then bringing the palms down to the thighs, you might need to walk the legs in. We're going to come to Malasana, squat pose. Again, just allow flow. Also, the flow is creating heat, so fire and water, and you're touching the earth. Breathing in air. Move in any way that creates flow in your body. Coming to center, lengthening through the spine if you need a block underneath you or a pillow. Centering here. awakened after the hibernation of winter. And yet allowing the slow increase of energy to happen with the cycles, with the weather, wherever you are living. Allow the light to be your guide, the earth to guide you. Coming up, 
grounding those feet, using the strength of your legs to bring you up in the core. Bring the hands up and overhead. Allow the feet to shuffle slowly in. Giving thanks for the sun and increasing light. The energy of the sky bringing it down into the heart. Feeling the energy of the earth coming up into your heart. The stirrings of spring bring promise and hope. Thank you for joining me here today. Thank you for participating in this practice. If you need a Shavasana, take your time now to rest and integrate. May you celebrate and enjoy the festival of Umbulak. Blessed be. From my heart to yours, I'm a Cree, Kree, Sloan, August Bannock, 